This brand new tool is a Smart Connect. I'm going to tell you why you might want these and how you can get them. Hi, I'm Ron Polk, and this is the Smart Wood Shop. The Smart Connect is a bench dog that doesn't exist on the market. I had a particular need with my workbenches, with the Smart Station and the Smart Bench. I have these router tables, the Polk Smart router table, and I have these bench extenders. I have these uh, miter tracks, as well as some other attachments that I'm thinking about doing uh, to be able to attach uh, clamps and, and uh, vices and things like that. And I wanted a way to clamp these things down using the standard um, MFT holes, the 20 millimeter holes spaced 96 millimeters apart. I wanted to be able to put, like this extender, I wanted to be able to put it on so that I extend the width of my bench. Or I might want to put it on so it expend, extends the length of my bench. And so I, I came up with this dado and clamping. I've shown this before. That's exactly how I worked out attaching my router tables. It works. Uh, downside to it is uh, it takes two clamps for each uh, access accessory. They stick kind of down into the bench, so uh, they, they sort of eat up some space if you're sticking things in there. Not been a big deal, but it's, it's something to think about. Also, this, that type of clamp um, is, you know, they're usually around $15, $20 a piece, and it takes two. And it's, it's a little harder to get them in. Uh, you have to get in and fish them up. I just wanted to, and um, you're also kind of limited because wherever you put this dado, that's the only point you can connect them because you need the clamping to be below the surface. So I really wanted something that I could attach these in any direction through any hole and not have these dados. And also, this takes up a lot less room. A knob and, a, and this uh, Smart Connect take up a lot less room inside the bench, and they go on a lot quicker. So I contacted a tool company that makes some beautiful tools already that I use and that I've demonstrated many times. And I said, and this was on a Sunday, I said, uh, Hans, I did this via video with my iPhone, or showing them what my need was. And they had a product that was very similar, but it didn't quite work uh, because it stuck up above the bench. And I said, I need this to go below. And we were back and forth emailing and sending videos. And again, this was on a Sunday. And within an hour or so, Hans sent me a drawing. They'd actually done, had taken screenshots from a CAD design of this. And it was perfect. And I said, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And they already made these really nice, high quality, heavy uh, knobs that, that um, they're, they're called speed knobs, and they go into many other bench dogs so that they quickly spin and their, their weight, so they work a lot better than those um, you know, less expensive uh, mass-produced ones that you know, they design these for that purpose. So again, any, any knob would work in this thread. It's a six millimeter thread. Um, but so any six millimeter knob would work, but the shoulder on it fits from underneath, will bottom out against the 20 millimeter hole so you don't need a washer. And again, the weight, they spin off so nice and just quickly, so I'm moving things around it. They, they don't get in my way, which is, you know, a beautiful thing with any design. If it gets out of your way, it was well designed. So this thing is, um, Amazing in that he sent me this design within an hour and then he has, I believe, I don't know much about that end of, of the metal working world, but has a, makes beautiful tools out of aluminum already. And so I think they have like a, a CAD 3D aluminum or a metal lathe, you know, robot that can cut stuff like this. And that same week, he sent me eight of these. These are the ones that I have. So these are prototypes. They're aluminum, and all of his aluminum tools are anodized. These were sent out uh, not anodized because they were 
kind of proof of concept, say, hey, you know, Ron, do these work? Well, I've had these uh, over a month now, and I have just really enjoyed working with them. So now I'm attaching, you can see my router table is attached. Both of them are attached with them. Um, that I attach my miter tracks, although I have an alternate attachment for these because I had to come up with a way, because these aren't on the market, so I had to come up with a way to do it uh, because these have to be attached and the clamps didn't work. So anyway, I attach mine with these and then my bench extenders also I attach with these. So I'm looking at, I need two for each one, and so I've got six there, I've got four here, that's 10. I need two more on each of those, there's 14. I have some other things I wanna work on. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need about 20 of these uh, when it's all said and done with a knob for each one. Well, to have Hans turn these for me one at a time, you're talking about expensive machinery, and um, you know the labor, the you know everything it costs to manufacture things, but things get a lot cheaper when they're scaled. So my question to you is, if you're using one of my workbenches and you like so, like my router table and these extenders and things, and you want to use those things, and you think this would be as beneficial to you as as it is to me, then. I need to tell Hans, you could run X amount of these and really bring the cost down and make these far less expensive than using clamps. So in this video, in the comments down below, I'm going to share this video with Hans. He's going to see and be able to forecast whether it's worth making this tool. Is Ron Polk the only one that needs this and therefore I'll have him make a few more for me and we'll call it good and I'll have them and you won't. But if you want them, comment down below and let me know about how many you would purchase that you would like to order. This is not any kind of GoFundMe or anything. This is just informational. This is so that I can look at it and Hans can look at it. And this is going to be their deal. It's not going to be a Polk thing. They, I did talk them into, if they come to market, to calling them the Smart Connect, to give some tie into the Smart Wood Shop, just to make me feel good, and they're pretty smart. But these things are 30 millimeters long, so they work perfect with 18 and 18 because they don't go all the way through. They're, you wouldn't want them to go all the way through because then you'd have a hard time getting them to tighten up. And then a knob like this with the six millimeter hole so you can tighten up and pull things down and get a lot of holding power. And the way they work is there's a little lip, a little chamfered lip right around the top and that bottoms out in the, the extender, the bench top. And I have found that I can actually take a hole that's just cut with the drill bit and I can tighten these enough they'll pull just slightly below the surface. But any of you who have built my benches and, and followed my how to build videos know that I take a 45 uh, degree chamfer bit and I have just a little bit of it sticking through and I chamfer all of my holes. Well, because I chamfer them, that little bit drops it below the surface around a, a millimeter or so. And, and if I wanted to, I could make that chamfer even deeper and drop these down. Because what I don't want to do is cut these with my saw. I don't want to damage my blade and I certainly don't want to damage these. But as you all know, I don't cut my bench tops anyway. So as long as these are flush, they're going to work. I use sacrificial strips or these uh, sacrificial um, bench biscuits. So I don't cut my benches. And, and so these things, just as long as they're flush, not sticking up to interfere will work great. And again, they, they're, they're turned to, uh, instead of 20, they are 19.9. So they fit, uh, perfect machine fit but they don't get stuck like the, 20, the actual full-on 20 millimeter dogs do. There's also some grooves cut in, in the, the shaft, and I think that is that helps with them not getting stuck. At least that's what I think. I'm not absolutely sure. That's an engineer's thing and, and uh, not my idea at all. So if you like these, if you think something like this might be handy, I think you know whether you have a Festool MFT table 
or a different version or you make your own or you have the, my designs, I think these could be real handy for lots and lots of uses. Uh, building platforms for your uh, Craig pocket hole machine or for a bench vise or for uh, just, just a ton of things so you could connect to your bench. So again, if you're interested, you got to comment down below and let me know, number one, that you're interested and number two, how many you think you would be interested in. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and remember to ring that bell. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Woodshop. You stay safe and have a great day.